the sights and sounds of progress. This is one of dozens of buildings within the Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore that's in line for a facelift. Uh, this year we are under, under contract uh, painting 47 structures. That's just on the mainland. Ten other park-owned buildings on North and South Manitou Islands are also getting a fresh coat of paint. The total cost about $300,000. It may sound like a lot, but it's work that doesn't happen very often. I've been with the Park Service since uh, June of 91. Some of these buildings, uh, it is probably the first time uh, since I've been with the park, uh, have, have seen paint. We have to compete for that money with the rest of the 392 national parks in this country. Uh, we, of course, think ours are very deserving. The work stretches from the Dunes area in Empire to Glen Haven to the Port Oneida Historic District, but the paint covers only a fraction of the buildings on park land. We have 366 historic structures in the park, and with this project, we are able to knock off about 20% of the exterior work on those structures. Paint crews are working on about 50 buildings within the National Lakeshore boundaries, and they say that this building is one of those in the worst shape. It hasn't been painted in so long. They're actually worried about lead-based paint, and the Park Service knows it. They say it's one of the reasons that this project is a priority. In all, it will take two dozen outside contractors about three months to complete the project. From Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore, Bill Fralick, 9 and 10 news .com.